Hello and welcome to MATLAB Trick. I have been encouraged to use R recently, this free software you can download on this page because it's quite similar to MATLAB, it's supposed to be, and it's free. So I thought we could... So I wrote that code we did in an earlier video in R instead. Uh, it took me a little bit time, but for sure there is uh, a quite huge overlap in how to write it. Uh, and I thought we can go through step by step the differences. Okay, so the first step is to load the data and in MATLAB we clicked up here and then the data and it looks like this. This data set includes both both numbers and some letters here, which makes it considerably more tricky to work with in MATLAB, actually. If it were only numbers, we could have simply typed like uh, load, whatever name, land, and the extension, and it, it should have worked. But here we cannot do that, really. So we go back to import data, and uh, so there come a few options here, and uh, the easiest approach were actually to start with this as a numeric matrix and load that. Okay, this was surprisingly time spending. Uh, ridiculously time spending actually. So maybe not the best approach if you need to write make it fast. But anyhow, here we get the data and um, all the num numeric data but the uh, column with uh, letters appears as uh, not the numbers, so we have to import that again. And we could uh, mark only that one and import it as a column. Okay, and we got it here. MATLAB called it double V because it was the first thing in that vector. Okay, now we got all data in MATLAB. Actually this were a bit tricky here and in R we could simply write one line of code. I think I should mention one more thing regarding importing data in MATLAB. When you're doing those selections you can generate a script or a function so you don't have to do this procedure every time. So it would look something like this. You Okay, so we have our data here. We have our data and we want to reach the first five numbers in the fifth column, for instance. We would type like that in MATLAB. All right, let's try it. And we get those numbers. In R, though, we are doing the very same thing, but we need to use the square brackets. So not much of a difference. But let's assume we want the entire column, right? In MATLAB we could type 1, 2, end, or we could actually only write the column. In R though, we, we don't have to write anything, or we shouldn't write anything. We simply do like that. So instead of find, in R it's called which so if we see here find I was searching for a number in my data and I used find in R uh, I need to use which would w which would work the same way although uh, it works for both numbers and strings it seems in MATLAB I have to use use another function string match here okay so if we take a look at this uh, for loop uh, it's slightly different in um, I think it's more straightforward in MATLAB, but maybe because I'm used to it. So when we in MATLAB type 4n equal to 1 colon 100, uh, the increment will be 1 by default. So it's like n equal to 1, n equal to 2, and so forth. This loop will go through all the way up to 100. This loop in R works the same, but we type it slightly different. Four and in 1 colon 100 
and parentheses. Then you type this curl stuff and you also end with the curl stuff. So and uh, the statement is just the same, but I did one mistake here. You should type uh, like this square brackets. Uh, and uh, what more ha do we have here? Um, w one difference is that in in R you couldn't create this uh, variable called mean data here within the loop. Uh, at least it didn't work when I tried. So I it seems like it has to be predefined. So then I just defined something with the same size as I know my end matrix will have. Uh, and actually it's a good idea to do that. You don't have to do it in MATLAB, but it's a good idea to do it in MATLAB because it will save time. Uh, every for every iteration when the uh, this variable will then change size, it will grow one in for every iteration, that will actually take a lot of time in MATLAB. So it can be a good trick to know to make a faster script. So, and uh, <laughs> I don't know why, what's the difference, I haven't figured it out, but you know, you can write equal to, or you can write this arrow, figure out if there is any difference. But I'm very new in R, again, so you have to realize that my solution here might not be the optimal. So, I know MATLAB, I'm used to MATLAB, but, so, okay, let's go intersect what the function I used, well, just the same in MATLAB, exact same name, and uh, one more thing, MATLAB will print out when it has done, and uh, you know, I unless uh, if this uh, semicolon is not there, it will print data every time this uh, line is uh, executed. R will not, so that's why I uh, type print data here in the end. That's also good to know because if we leave this out MATLAB will for every loop type it and that will also in the command window here and that will also make, make the script uh, 